Oh, hey, Vinny, you remember Dr. Manelli, don't you? Yeah, he's always experimenting with all these drugs. Yeah, so this young lady comes in to him and says that her husband is having a little trouble in the bedroom area, and so Dr. Manelli gives her something special. Oh, for the libido, huh? Absolutely. She comes back one week later and she says, Doc, it worked fantastic. I put it in his mashed potatoes just like you suggested. He got this wild look in his eyes. He swept all of the food and the plates crashing to the floor. He ripped off all of my designer clothes, and he ravished me right there on the table. What did the doc say? He said, that's wonderful. It works even better than we thought. And by the way, we would be happy to reimburse you for any damages that were incurred. Oh, well, what did she say? She said, that's okay, doc. We're not going back to that restaurant. Hey, how you doing? I'm Big Paulie, this guy over here. He's 52 times. I don't. And we are the wise guys. And we're here to bring you our award-winning show, We Pick the Winners. Where? We, we Pick, pick the, the Winners. Angie, the setup is almost done. You are so lucky that your building let you use the downstairs rec room for the debate. Mm -hmm. I know, Mary. And you and Paulie have been a big help. Benny, not so much. What do you mean? Uh -oh. I've done everything you've you asked. on the couch. Yeah, All because the game's at. Yeah, All right, right, everybody, on. just relax. Yeah, the debate doesn't start for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. Angie, save the ass kicking for the other candidates. Benny's right. I need to save my ass kicking for the other candidates. Well, well, well. I see you're still doing your little show. <laughs> Look who it is, O'Hara and Fast Freddy Marcos. <laughs> it's Friedrich. Nobody. Forget it. Uh, you're wasting your time. Well, Friedrich, <laughs> you're late. Thanks to my chauffeur. Chauffeur? You mean my nanny. Oh, sh What the f- Two time and son of a bitch. Excuse me. Nanny? What does she mean by nanny? Oh, Dottie, I am so excited. I'm meeting with my private eye, Esther Jones, and she has a new plan to get Dottie to confess. Oh, that's great, Tina, and thank you for the Dr. Crane recommendation. When Guinea and I went to see Dr. Crane, it took me a while to go under, but not Guinea. He went under right away. He was out before he snapped his fingers. Since our session, things have really heated up with me and O'Hara. If you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, Miss Tina Toledo, Miss Dottie DeVille, welcome back. Hey, Dottie, why don't you go get ready for your Fantasy Girl segment? It is coming right up. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be great. Yeah. Well, this is the part of the show where we tell you all about the rest of the show. Mm. This is our Super Bowl special, so uh, we are going to be picking out our bust out, bust out players of the game. And since we're only picking one game, <laughs> our ironclad lock, lead pipe cinch, personally picked whack, whack of the week. week. It's just going to be which team we think is going to win. <laughs> Big Polly, Vinny two times. How's my two favorite people? Hey, Donnie P. Smith, <laughs> what brings you here, huh? Two things. First, I'm doing research on a new book. Mm. It's about a connected wise guy whose wife and his wife who's running for mayor. How original. Yes. What's the second thing? I'm meeting a ghostwriter named Esther Jones. She's going to write it and make me a million dollars. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Esther Jones! I've asked around and you come highly recommended. Oh, thank you. Now, before we go any further and I invest months and months of my time, I need to know what other work you've done. Oh, perhaps you've heard of Zombie Godfather in Russia. Yes! I'm out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, if you can't be honest with me, I'm not ghostwriting you a million dollar book. Okay, okay, I didn't completely write it. Tina Toledo may have written some. Okay, all. So we good? Yeah, good as gold. <laughs> and this is now Tina's gold. Oh, oh, oh. All right. And since it is our Super Bowl special, we will be announcing a Fantasy Fan of the Year. Hooey! Well, slap my head and call me silly, because it's cold out there, Vanessa. Not as cold as it is in here, Johnny, because I'm not speaking to Polly. Whoa, are you still mad about our double date? <laughs> you can say that. You beat up Mike Carlton. Now he's not coming to the debate. Oh, Carlton's dropping out? Well, that just dills my pickle. <laughs> One less snake in the grass. No, he didn't just say that about Mike Carlton. Oh, don't go having a hissy fit. This could be a good thing. You get to spend more time together. Oh. Well, I'm still not talking to you, Polly. Ooh. Are all the other candidates here? Everyone except President Obama. Oh. 
Well, where I come from, we have a saying. If you can't run with the big dogs, stay under the porch. Now, where are those vittles? In there. <laughs> All right, now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Since this is our Super Bowl special, we're also going to announce who is our Fantasy Fan of the Year. And they're going to win a special prize. And who helps us pick the Fantasy Fan of the Year? It's my favorite part. It's everybody's favorite part. It's those amazing, those beautiful, those intelligent fantasy girls. <laughs> Oh, I never yes. get tired of that. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's pick our bust out, bust out players in the game. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Vinny, two times. Take it away. Okay, Big Polly. My bust out, bust out player in the game concentrates with the Carolina Panthers. He's number one in your heart. He's got number one on his back. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Superman himself, Cam Newton. He scored four touchdowns last week, threw for 335 yards. He has that kind of game in the Super Bowl. He is going to win, and I think he will. He's going to be my bust out, bust out play of the game. Nice, very well done. I like mm -hmm. that. All right, my bust out, bust out players of the game yeah. for the Denver Broncos. On offense, Owen Daniels, and on defense, Vaughn Miller. If either of them come close to the game they had last week, the Carolina Panthers are going to be in a lot of trouble. And those were my bust out, bust out players of the game. And now... We're going to have a Super Bowl beer. We suggest you do the same thing. Yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Yeah, I'm going to beer. And we are back. And now it is time for our ironclad lock. Lead pipe cinch. Personally picked. Whack of the week. week. Oh, oh, that's nice music to my ears. Okay. Hey, Big Polly, I'm going to go first, okay? Uh, okay, why not? What's okay, my can't one? miss. Got to have it. Whack of the week. Uh, concentrates on two teams. They're either the Carolina Panthers or the Denver Broncos. And guess what? My heart's with Denver, but Carolina's going to win. It's just too strong. Are you kidding me? On both offense and defense, I like the Carolina Panthers to win in a squeaker, 24-22. All right. That was your whack of the week. And now it is time for my ironclad lock. Lead pipe cinch, personally picked. These are not the droids you're looking for. Whack of the week. Oh, Jedi mind control whack. Absolutely. Uh, I, I uh, would like to see um, uh, Peyton Manning win one more Super Bowl because he's a better quarterback than his brother. But it ain't going to happen. Carolina Panthers in a big way. 35-21. That's my whack of the week. Good pick. Mm -hmm. Good pick. Ladies? Two words. Panthers. <laughs> That's one word. All right. Uh, so now it is time to pick our fantasy fan of the year. And who helps us choose the fantasy fan of the year? It's my favorite part. It's everybody's favorite part. It's those amazing, those beautiful, those intelligent fantasy girls. Ladies? <laughs> and the winner is... Gio knows. All right, Gio. Hey, we're going to be reaching out to you with a, uh, a prize sometime soon. Yeah, get, I'll send you some, uh, send me your information and I'll send you a nice prize. All right. And now go visit our website, thewiseguys.net. That's thewiseguys.net. Wouldn't this look good on your table? Yeah. Uh, gentlemen, Valentine's Day is your only chance. Yeah, buy some for your family. We are back. Hey, Super Bowl weekend coming up, huh? Yeah. Conference championships. I did pretty good. I went 2-0. and all. I went 1-1, one and one, which means <laughs> we're, we're tied. Kenny, you didn't remember to call the caterer. Oh. Yes, I did. Candy cupcakes has come and gone hours ago. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Vinny. With everything going on, I'm just so nervous. I find when I'm nervous, it helps to take deep breaths. <gasps> oh. oh, yeah. And, <gasps> and a tribal <gasps> moan. And it helps when you move your arms like this. You guys are doing this all wrong, okay? It's more of a sway. Hey, can you keep it down? I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah, I'm trying to write. Holy, y'all are nosier than a tornado with a tarantula. All right, this is totally getting out of hand. Don't worry, don't worry. I got it all covered. I knew it was going to be a stressful day, so I called in the one person who could help. Dr. Gaylord Crane. One word, German Jedi. That's two words, Vinny. Whatever. Dr. Crane? Vinny calls him the German Jedi. I heard he's the German Jedi. Who's Dr. Crane? He's a German Jedi. Thank you, German Jedi. Dr. Gaylord Crane, the German Jedi. I've heard of this Dr. Crane. I'm sleeping with this Dr. Crane. German Jedi. More like a German gentleman. Oh. Everyone, silence. Okay, Vinny. Dr. Gaylord Crane at your service. How may I help? Glad you're here, Doc. It's getting a little 
tense! A little? Just as I thought. Nervous before the debates. I have just the remedy. Gavy baby. Oh, ah, uh, Dr. Crane has been working on a new technique. <laughs> this is correct. Now everyone concentrate. I will count down from three. Then I snap my fingers. You'll feel instantly relaxed and refreshed. Three, two, one. <laughs> My mind control is working. Once I touch everyone's brains, they'll be under my complete control. Angie, I need the baby wipes. I need to change little Anthony's diaper. O'Hara, oh, you have all people from that to ruin my plans to take over the world. Oh, Three, two, one. Hi, Dr. Crane. Uh, why is everybody asleep? Such an effort. Three, two, one. Uh, Angie, I need the baby wipes. What? What? Wake up. Everyone wake up. Hey. Somebody uh, grab him and gag him. Uh, hey, <gasps> hey, Angie, how did you, how did you wake up? O'Hara woke me. O'Hara? Guinea, how did you of all people resist Dr. Crane? What? Oh, wait, I got these earplugs that little Anthony's crying. Oh. oh. Okay, Dr. Crazy, the only world you're going to take over is in prison. Let's go. It's almost time for the debate, and President Obama is a no-show. Oh. His loss, I'm heading down. Man, I love Barry. Daddy, so watch you control, control me. You know, watch hey, the hey, control. Watch control. control me. Wow, that went uh, better than I would have expected. Yeah. <laughs> Vinny, next time you want to help me relax, just give me a back rub. That goes for me, too. All right. Yeah, I can work on that. Sure. Yeah. Hey, what do you say we get the girls dancing, there huh? There you go. Hey, when the music is playing and the girls are dancing, that means it's the end of the show. And there it is. There's the end of the show. It's time to say thank you to all the people that made the show possible. First and foremost, we want to say thank you to those wonderful people at the WACA 6000. That would be us. So thank you, Vinny, two times. Thank you, Big Polly. And we want to say thank you to all these people that you see running down here right in front of you right now. Wow, did they all show up for our Super Bowl special. That's right. That's fantastic. We also want to say thank you to those wonderful, those amazing, those fantastic, those intelligent fantasy girls who have already left the building. And we want to say thank you to those special women who are with us now, Miss Angie Scazio and Miss Mary Matthews. Thank you. Thanks, wise guys. Uh, uh, that's wonderful. Hey, there you go. Thanks for being here for our Super Bowl special. Stick around. There may be an Oscar special coming yeah, up. Hey, you know, the wise guys pick the winners on. We, we pick, pick the, the winners. winners. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> My fellow Americans, uh, today's the day where, uh, where, where the hell is everybody? Uh, maybe I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. There you are. Renegade secure, I repeat, renegade secure. Mr. President, you can't keep wandering off like that. I could lose my job. Relax, Frank. Uh, nobody knew it was me. I'm in disguise, see? A Hawaiian shirt and a two-day-old beard. Tricky. Yeah. Looks like we missed the debate, but uh, all is not lost. How can I be of service, Mr. President? Have a seat, Frank. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, how you doing? Uh, I'm the Big O, and this is uh, Frankie Fingers. What up? And we are the Gov Guys. We bring you our award-winning show. We uh, pick the winners. Where we, we uh, uh, pick, pick the, the winners. winners. That was nice, Frank. Yes, it was, Mr. President. Yeah. Ready? Oh, let me just take a quick selfie. Oh. Someday. Someday, Frank. Let's roll. Renegade on the move. Be the bird, but do it the bird, the reader.